Hello everyone, this is Miss Tian Fei. Today I'm going to show you how to make a snowman skating on ice with paper plate and paint. Now let's get started. The supplies you will need a cardstock, popsicle stick, a pencil, a glue stick, a paper plate, a pair of scissors, some paint, blue and white, some other colors cup of water and some brush. First, we are going to use the popsicle stick as a ruler to draw a line in the middle of the plate. Above this line will be the sky. Underneath this line will be the ice. Then you may choose a blue you like to paint above the line into color blue. Make sure you keep the line straight because we are going to cut the line at the very end of this project. Now, let's leave the plate on the side to get dried. We are going to move on to make the snowman. Here, I choose to make a snowman sideways. You may do it the way you like. If you are doing the sideways, make sure you can only see one eye, the nose, and half of the mouth. After you've done the draft, you are going to paint over with paint you have. You don't have to choose exactly the same colors like what I have here, but I highly recommend you use some kind of blue for the sky for the plate and orange for the nose. Other colors will be your choice. Also, you don't have to use paint. The benefit to use the paint is it matches with the sky and the background of the plate. But if you rather use markers, color pencils, which will give you less time to wait in the later stage.
After we finish coloring the snowman, we are going to cut around the snowman. Try your best to not cut anything off, especially the scarf, the hat, and the nose. After you finish the snowman, please leave your snowman on the side, and let's focus on the background, which will be the paper plate. Make sure your blue sky is completely dried, and then we are going to make some snowflakes. It's kind of like it's snowing that day when the snowman is skating on ice. If you drew the draft with a pencil, you probably will have some pencil marks like what I did. Make sure the snowman is completely dry before you erase any pencil marks. Then we are going to put some glue on the popsicle stick and glue our snowman to the popsicle stick. You don't have to have a big popsicle stick like me, a smaller one would work as well. Just make sure you only want to glue half of the popsicle stick, not the whole stick. After you glue the snowman, leave it on the side until it's dried and we are going to poke a hole and cut the plate open. We are not going to cut off the sky from the eyes, it's more like you open a pocket in the middle of the plate. Now, after the snowman is dried, you may put the stick in the pocket and then slice your snowman front and back. Thanks for watching! See you next time!